After the disastrous mistake on his Premier League debut against West Brom, Brazil centre-back Thiago Silva has re-established himself and has since shown incredible progress and stability. To extend his career and adapt to the difficult league, the Brazilian had to demonstrate top-class discipline in all aspects of his new life in London. It seemed that after losing the Champions League final, Silva went to London solely as a reserve. But instead, the younger and talented Andreas Christensen and Fikayo Tomori were destined to sit on the bench, while Antonio Rudiger completely dropped out from Lampard's list. Today, Football Geeks will try to figure out how Thiago has succeeded so promptly in the demanding Premier League. But before we begin, do not forget to like Thiago's efforts and subscribe to our channel. Let's geek it out! There were enough doubts about the expedience of inviting an experienced defender to the club that however has passed his career peak. As a rule, most star players either retire at the age of 36 or move to more exotic leagues to earn extra money. But this wasn't the case for Thiago. After spending eight seasons at PSG, the team that dominates any game in French League One, he went to the most physically demanding championship. With all due respect, one should not deny that playing for PSG against mid-table teams in League One does not require the same amount of defensive efforts as in England. The transfer ban helped Chelsea accumulate a lot of funds for the summer, but the pandemic has brought its own adjustments. Even though the window was open, the official games continued and players had to be signed along the way. Therefore, at the earliest opportunity, the club began working on the transfer of the Brazilian, especially after the rumors of interest from the Serie A began to surface. It seemed that Italy would be a more logical place for Thiago, because he played there earlier and knows the language. But the player himself wanted a new challenge, and most likely it was his desire that made Frank Lampard to believe that the 36-year-old defender would not only help Chelsea in case of need, but indeed strengthen the defense. Chelsea's leaky defense has been the biggest criticism of Frank Lampard since he returned as a boss. Despite all the club's talents, the team conceded 54 goals last season, the worst result since the club was bought by Roman Abramovich in 2003. Last season, Rhys James proved that he was ready to oust Aspili Cueta from the starting lineup. There was no doubt in summer signing from Leicester City Ben Chilville, and perhaps the stability of Kurtzuma at the start of the season was also a pleasant surprise. But despite this, these three lacked the experience and composure that Thiago Silva brought in. The Brazilian treated the Premier League move with the highest level of professionalism. He settled in a house not far from Chelsea's training grounds at Cobham. Silva also arranged everything he needs for additional fitness training and recovery at home. For over two years now, the Brazilian has been working with a personal physical therapist and nutritionist. Thiago admits that he used to overindulge in junk food, especially after games. Previously, he did not particularly attach importance to nutrition, because he always trained hard to burn calories. But now, everything has changed. His wife Isabella confirmed the fact that Thiago watches his diet as strictly as possible. He does not even allow himself sugary drinks, not to mention hard drinks. Training, recovery, sleep, nutrition – this is what Thiago thinks about every day to maintain himself in form. Summing up, we must say that Silva's secret is quite evident. It is the highest standard of discipline. The Brazilian studies English five times a week, rests as much as possible and dreams about his main goal – to play at the World Cup in Qatar. Lampert, in turn, makes wise use of the defender, giving him a rest whenever possible. So, do you believe that Silva will make it to the 23-player list for Brazil national team in 2022? Will Chelsea extend his contract for the next year if the Brazilian maintains his current form? Share your thoughts in the comments and do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon!